tighten the nuts on the U-bolt at this time. Place two of the clips from the wiring harness back into the cross member. Install zip tie around U-bolt to wiring harness to prevent wiring harness interfering with the drive shaft. Apply the driver's side frame rail safety sticker to this location. Apply the passenger side frame rail safety sticker to this location. Apply visor safety label to this location. Apply dash safety label to this location. Always disconnect load from generator before attempting to operate. Damage to generator may result if load is present during startup. Generator operation is very simple. With the engine running, engage the parking brake, turn on the number four upfitter switch, the generator will engage and then begin to idle up to the preset idle speed. Here you will see the engine is idled up to approximately 1200 RPMs. Generator is now fully operational and ready for load. To turn generator system off, first press the brake pedal to lower the idle speed. Then turn the upfitter number 4 switch to the off position to disconnect the PTO. Disengage the emergency brake and the truck is now ready to drive as normal. the 240 volt outlet should read between 220 volts AC to about 260 AC. Test each leg separately to ground. Voltage should be approximately half of what your original reading was. Test the GFCI for voltage. Voltage should be between 110 volts AC and 130 volts AC.
Now switch the meter to check for frequency. Frequency should be between 59 hertz and 61 hertz. If there is much fluctuation in frequency, make sure the climate control system is turned off.